Before this video begins, please make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as to hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Rewind six months ago when Poch took Spurs to within 90 minutes of Europe's most treasured trophy. Remember when Poch took over, Spurs were actually struggling to even get into the top four. So to take the side to the Champions League is incredible. Fast forward to present day, Tottenham currently sit in 14th with three wins, five draws and four losses. And have sacked one of Europe's most decorated managers in Pochettino. Where has it all gone wrong and what's next for Poch? Obviously, there are multiple places where this pot terrain went wrong in this past season. I think the high of the Champions League really got to uh, this Tottenham's current squad's head, in my opinion, personally. And they have been riding that through the summer and thinking, OK, we we made it to the final. We're a great team. But now they're getting caught out by the likes, like the lower class teams. No offense to those teams in the Premier League, but usually on a good day, you see Tottenham scoring all types of goals. Kane, as he does for England banging them in, but no one's really been on form under this uh, this past season under Poch. Daniel Levy's decision to actually sack Poch was plain out wrong. Um, it's said that the players actually really love Pochettino, but you know, you would think if the players really love Pochettino, wouldn't they play their hearts out game in and game out? Like, it's, it's the players' faults that Pochettino got sacked. It's ridiculous. Yeah, and Tottenham really haven't had that marquee player this season. With the likes of Eriksen sitting on the bench even, and Poch not playing him, we don't really know what was going on there. There was rumors of him being transferred out, so maybe it impacted the club morale. And going into the season, um, with Eriksen trying to leave, and Kane, you know, off form, on form, but on form for England, and everyone is just, you know, in the middle of this kind of limbo where we're, we're Champions League finalists, we lost, but... We're coming into the season trying to prove something. And right now, they are far from proving that. They are contenders again. And now, I don't see them going very far in Champions League or out of the Prem. I think it's kind of escaped them for now. Yeah, it's crazy because within 24 hours, Tottenham sacked Poch and replaced him with the special one, no other than Jose Mourinho. And I could say you could say Poch hasn't had the full backing on board because... The only decent signing Tottenham have actually made in two years is Ndombele. And if you want to be chasing the big prizes, the fact is in today's era of football, you have to spend money. Yeah, and as we talked about in our actual um, money video uh, regarding football and how money has taken over the game, without money, clubs don't go far. That's just a fact right now. As sad as it is, it's just a fact. You will get the odd ones out as in Ajax, but without money, you won't go far. And Spurs not spending money, as you said, is just going to keep hurting them in the long run with, with clubs around them in the Prem and in the Europe's top five league just getting even better and better. Yeah, Spurs fans aren't happy. If you look all over social media, I bet there's not one Spurs fan that who chooses to accept this decision. Yeah, and when you invest in your stadium and um, make these big improvements to <laughs> the crowd machine that makes it louder, the atmosphere, you want the players to perform under that, that atmosphere every time. And... As you said before, they're just not giving their 100%. You see them play their games, and it just doesn't look like the same Tottenham. The same Tottenham that had that drive to make that comeback in the Champions League. The same Tottenham that are always pushing on for top four. This looks like a relegation side. Exactly, and um, you would think, like six months ago, they're in the Champions League final. I did just discard uh, Poch is unreal because now all the all the doors are going to open for Poch. Obviously, he's been he's linked. He's been long linked with Manchester United. Bayern don't have a manager, which brings me to my next point. What's next for Pochettino? Honestly, what's next is just moving on and proving that Spurs wrong. That if you're not going to back a manager, he can't do anything. But if he goes toward the right club and with the backing on the board, Poch can do wonders. I'd say Poch can win the Champions League and uh any of the Europe's top five leagues. He is that yeah. capable with the right players. But out of all the team, out, out of all the clubs he's speculated to uh, become manager, who would you expect has the most likely chance of getting one of Europe's most decorated managers in Pochettino, obviously? I think, well, the way United are going up and down, I see them keeping Solskjaer as sad as it is for United fans. I know some United fans are with Solskjaer, some United fans are against Solskjaer. But I see them keeping it. With Bayern, though, I see them in a special case because they have an open slot. And you want to bring in a big name. You want to replace a man who brought you good title finish after good title finish, good Champions League run after good Champions League run, with a great manager as well. And I personally see Poch ending up in Bayern. Yeah, um, I would say, I, I would think he would go to Bayern, obviously, as they don't have a manager right now. But Manchester United's uh, 
their long interest in Pochettino is it's very interesting what can go on there because I think if Ole slips it may be tempted to sack him and replace him with Pochettino so it, it, it can get really interesting now obviously some Spurs fans are saying and also Premier League fans are saying Poch the re- also the reason they sacked him is because he has no trophies for Tottenham he hasn't brought them any silverware but to contradict that point Poch without the backing of the board as we stated already he's done wonders He's taken them to the Champions League final. He's always pushed for top four. Tottenham, have never, except for this season, had never been out of the race. You could never really count Tottenham out. For me, I, I'm in pure shock. Like, the last thing I would have expected is for Pochettino to be sacked by Tottenham. For me personally, I'm just ready to flip the next chapter and see what the special one can do with this Tottenham side. Can he bring them back up from the bottom of the Prem? It will be very interesting. Yeah, I'm also really excited for Mourinho to be back in the Premier League, but I think we're going to wrap it up here, yeah? Yeah, I think we said everything we needed to say. So be sure to follow our Twitter at WeTLKFootball. Um, there's going to be a poll somewhere in this video, so vote whether you think Pochettino deserved to be sacked or not. And uh, please be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment. And leave down in the comments too what you think about this whole situation. And till next time.